Hey guys, Nintendo Fanboy for the win here. And today I wanted to show you guys all the amiibo armor that you can get in Breath of the Wild. So essentially what this video is going to cover is all of the amiibo outfits that you can receive. Uh, this includes, you know, all of the hero uh, outfits. So Link of, um, the Link of, you know, Ocarina of Time outfit, Link of, you know, so all those. And just every piece of armor in general that you can really get. Um, and... You know, there is quite a bit of it, so it's very interesting. These are pretty easy to get from the Amiibo. Uh, if you guys have watched either my um, weapons guide on uh, Amiibo, so showing off all the weapons, or if you've seen my Epona video on how to spawn her in twice, you'll know that there's a really good uh, way of actually spawning in the items as soon as possible, or as fast as possible, which is to actually put a couple of Amiibo on the gamepad uh, before you do the one that you're actually trying to get. So it's, it works for me almost every time. You get it very fast uh, compared, you know, to just putting the Amiibo on, not working, loading your game. So all you need to do is uh, put a couple of ami random Amiibo on the gamepad, put the one that you want. If you don't do it, load it up again, and it usually will take me around 10 tries. Um, longest I've ever waited is about 30 minutes trying to do it. Uh, and these are very easy to get. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll start this now. First thing that you're going to be able to get is the Sheik, um, I get, what is this called? The Sheik, the Sheik's, it's Sheik's mask. Um, so these are actually just standard clothes. These are, uh, stealth things, but it pretty much just makes you look like Sheik. So the original outfit is this. So all you're going to be able to get from the, Sheik, from this is the Sheik's mask item. Uh, this item is obviously obtained by using your Sheik Super Smash Brothers Amiibo. Uh, looks really nice. I think if you want to uh, use the stealth armor, you're obviously going to use this because this is not as cool, obviously. I mean, it's it looks cool, but it's not as cool as having freaking Sheik. So, um, yeah, that's basically the first thing that you can get. The next thing that you can get is the Fierce Deity Outfit. Now, this outfit is actually unreleased, and the way you actually can get this right now is if you have um, some sort of an am amiibo spoofing device. I have the Amiquo, which I might do a review on soon. Um, you can actually put a fake amiibo file on, and I was just able to uh, spawn in all the Fierce Deity stuff. So, really cool. Um, I'm sure they'll release this amiibo soon so you can get it legally, but just to show you, it looks really nice. Um, really great. I don't know if these are all standardized stats. They probably are. Um, the Fierce Deity Mask and all these things, they give you attack up, which is great for boss fights and stuff, um, you know, stuff like that. So if you're ever going through a boss fight, just put this on, you'll just get a real nice quick attack boost. So, um, you know, I guess great to know on that front. Uh, the next thing that you can get is the Cap of Time, Tunic of Time, and Trousers of Time. So this completes the... the Ocarina of Time uh, Link uh, outfit. Um, just to show you, looks really nice. Uh, you know, spot on, obviously. And what's great about this is while the player will keep his, you know, the same eyes and everything, just by changing the hair, you know, with the cap and everything, it looks just like the original, you know, player. So it looks really nice. I believe you can upgrade these and get abilities attached to them. So far, I haven't upgraded them, uh, so there's no special abilities or anything, but, you know, it doesn't really matter to me. I mean, this is just, this just looks great, so, yep, that is the Ocarina of Time set. The next set is the Wind, um, the Wind Waker set, and this one is actually pretty cool to me because you obviously have never really seen a Wind Waker version of Link outside of the cartoonish style of, you know, Wind Waker and Phantom Hourglass and stuff like that. So, obviously, you haven't been able to see what he would probably look like in normal form um, with more, uh, you know, not car not as cartoony of, you know, graphic style. Uh, looks really nice. I think um, this is definitely a nice choice if you want to try this out. Um, and, you know, looks great. You can actually, uh, and I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but this is, um, these, these are all obtained by their respective amiibos. So this is, you can get the, 
uh, Ocarina of Time set by using the Link Ocarina of Time 30th Anniversary Amiibo. You can get this one by using either your Toon Link Super Smash Brothers Amiibo or your Toon Link's 30th Anniversary Amiibo. The next one I will show you is the Twilight set. This can actually be received um, from your Link Super Smash Brothers Amiibo uh, right after you spawn Epona. So if you spawn Epona, the second time around, you can start getting the Twilight gear, which looks awesome. Um, and then this will also be available through a new Amiibo that will probably be coming up soon, which is another Link Twilight Princess Amiibo, but in 30th anniversary form. So it's not going to be a Smash Brothers Amiibo. So just to show you in action, looks great. Nothing else to add, obviously, but it's very nice that you can use these um, and like I said if you just look at like the hairstyles that it ends up changing everything it really completes the look and it makes it look just like the original um, you know the original link so it looks great um, and yeah next one is the cap of uh, cap of the sky tunic of the sky and trousers of the sky this is actually available through another unreleased amiibo which is the skyward sword link I'm guessing it's his 30th anniversary uh, Amiibo. So just to show you, looks really nice. Very standard outfit, but looks good. And um, yeah, nothing much else to add, but it does look really nice. Like I said, this is unreleased, just like the Fierce Deity, so you're not gonna be able to get this quite yet unless you have a uh, an Amiibo hack device. So um, overall, it looks pretty good, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So the final outfit is the hero outfit, um, which I think looks pretty weird because it is basically pant, you know, Link looks pantsless. So this is very weird. This is actually the uh, Link from Legend of Zelda 1 and 2 on the NES, which is also amazing because like I said with the Wind Waker one, we literally have never really seen a good version of or a high resolution version um, of Link in his, uh, you know, um, original Legend of Zelda armor uh, slash, you know, outfit. So it's very, very nice. I think it looks good. Uh, I definitely would not use the pants. I would probably use like this. This looks pretty good. That, this type of thing. Or, you know, like the, you know, Ocarina of Time boots or something. That looks better to me. But... Kind of looks weird, kind of <laughs> kind of funny that he's pretty much pantsless. But, um, yeah, overall, looks really nice. And, um, yeah, nothing else really to add on this one either. I guess the main thing is, looks really cool, and, you know, the hairstyle is definitely different. So, overall, I think it looks really nice, and, um, I think that's it. Is that it? believe that is it so and just to show you the nice nintendo switch shirt that oh my god that's <laughs> those pants are killing me oh my god but this is also this is one that you can get from dlc so i'm going to do another video showing off all the dlc once that actually comes out but um yeah that's about it anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please leave the video a like i will be coming out with some more tutorials and other things on breath of the wild so please stay tuned and, um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.